grease and dust are all achieved without using even one enamel, without solvents, oil colors, and without odors. Still, it is important to know that to paint a vehicle with acrylics requires that we change various habits in our way of painting. The drying time is a factor to keep in mind, but not the only one. The sequence of using the various techniques is also different, and some effects are achieved by the addition of the drying retarders, varnishes, and slow drying glazes. In this DVD, we will explain all the tricks and techniques necessary to complete a tank from the beginning to finish, where we will explain how to use all the acrylic products from water-based colors and acrylics for airbrushes to masking fluid, cleaners, thinners, varnishes, and decal appliers. Everything necessary to achieve a model with a realistic finish that would be as perfect as any models painted with enamels and oils. We recommend that you see the entire video first and then return again to the chapters that are more important to you. But it is also important that you experiment with some of the new products you will find here, practicing with an old model before you attack a new one. Welcome and enjoy the world of acrylics. We will start by planning how to paint our model. It would be very difficult to efficiently paint a model with all the details included. That is why we must dismount the model and separate the pieces as much as possible. Although it seems like a lot of work, it is important to leave all the pieces separated, starting with the wheels, the upper hull, hatches, turret, boxes, tools, and of course the guns and tracks. We will attach all these pieces with toothpicks for easier handling so that we may paint them with comfort. Now we will prime the model. All we need is a brush to stir and mix and a cleaner to clean the airbrush and of course the three primers gray, white, and black that we will pour directly into our airbrush. Shake the primer well before using. And then add it directly to your airbrush. Apply the primer in fine layers so as not to swamp the surface. Make long, smooth movements and avoid going over the same place twice. The primer will leave a uniform layer, ready and resistant, which will be fundamental for painting with acrylics. The rest of the pieces will be primed separately since they previously have been attached with toothpicks. Now, mixing the color gray with black, we'll, we will recreate pre-shadows in some areas. Since acrylic colors can vary in intensity, depending on the base color on which they are applied, we will take advantage of this virtue to create a more chromatic richness. We can use masking paper to protect certain areas. Now we will do the same, but with the highlights. We will use the white primer and apply it randomly on the more exposed areas.
Although there are primers available in spray, working with an airbrush gives us more precision. We now begin applying the base color 71025, making sure to shake it well before pouring it directly into the airbrush. Next, we will add 20% of the color 71027 and finally 20% or more of gloss or satin varnish. We can add thinner if our mixture seems too thick. We will also add white and posterior layers to make highlights and in this way create volume. As before with the primer, we must apply smooth layers with half kilo pressure at the air compressor and at a distance of 15 or 20 centimeters from the model and of course try to cover all the surface with the first layer. We need not worry if the color looks transparent. This is normal and that is why we have worked the primer base. Now we will create highlights adding white and satin varnish. Highlight the parts of the model most exposed to the sun or light, even using paper templates to delimit the panels. In this way we will achieve a greater visual volume in our model, enriching the chromatic variety especially in monochrome vehicles. With these three colors or the equivalent in model color and with the help of a fine brush we will keep on highlighting but this time the small details. We will paint the hooks, hinges, visors and any other protruding parts with a lighter shade. We can vary the tones to give more variety and we can also mix or add colors and even use dark colors to accentuate the shadows. The model, once finished, takes on more volume. Observe how all the details that we have painted gives more sharpness and cleanliness to the entire piece and all the details are outstanding with greater importance. Even though there seems to be a lot of contrast, posterior effects will smooth them out. We have also painted small details such as the rivets. Before starting to paint the camouflage markings, we should take into account that we must clean the nozzle with the cleaner and paper to eliminate possible risks of dried paint in the needle. By dampening the absorbent paper with the cleaner, we will remove the remaining paint that accumulates on the tip of the airbrush. Since acrylic colors dry quickly, they tend to obstruct the needle of the airbrush after a short while and it becomes difficult to continue painting. For this reason, we must constantly clean the nozzle and needle when we are painting camouflage patterns or fine details. To facilitate the cleaning and improve the precision of the airbrush, we must have unscrewed the exterior part of the nozzle.
We must work with low pressure, little by little, and try not to cover the whole surface right away. Every time we feel that the nozzle is obstructed, we should stop and clean the needle and nozzle. Also, to help clear the airbrush, we can open the air and paint flow totally and spray on paper so that we can see if the paint flows correctly. It is time to add the decals to our tank. While we immerse them in, in lukewarm water, we apply decal medium with the brush to the model. We can add more medium to help move the decals on the surface until we have them placed correctly. We will remove excess liquid with absorbent paper, pressing the decal to the surface with care. Next we apply the decal fix. We can use the same type of brush as before and moisten the surface of decal and model allowing these to dry. As a first technique for this model, we are going to apply a wash. These washes are very extremely precise and will give depth to all the details. But we will also do general washes mixing diverse colors and applying them to larger areas. We will use the airbrush cleaner to blur the marks left by these amazing new wash products. 